Fish on, guys. Oh, fish on. I'm gonna go in. This now, this one is on the. This one's on the salmon egg, so it's definitely a trout. I'm gonna go in. Follow me. Hit that light too. It's a wild one, but we got it, guys. All right. Another beautiful trout. Another beautiful rainbow trout, guys. That's a good one. Look at that. Look at that. Oh, wow. Look at that, guys. Another beautiful rainbow trout. All right. Stay tuned. Right, guys. More coming. So this is what we've been using to get the trout. Those uh, pink colored, they're called uh, salmon eggs, floating salmon eggs. And here are the, the, the traps we're using to get the crawfish. Okay, and what I did is, as you can see on the bottom, I zip tied three croakers that I caught in the surf on the bottom of each trap okay same thing with this one three croakers on the bottom of each trap just like that okay all right guys I got a little pull on this Yep, fish on. Fish on, guys. <laughs> fish on again. This is fantastic. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. We're getting some work, man. Another trout, guys. Another trout. Nice one, too. Here we go. Check this out. Let's get in the light. Look at that, guys. Another trout on the night crawlers. Look, you can see the night crawler sticking out right there. Another trout. Now, here are the results of what we've gotten so far from these traps. All those crawfish, guys. Look at that. All right, I'm gonna dump them out real quick to show you guys. Look at that. That's the result. Guys, I gotta show you something. This is crazy. All right, look. I put a little piece of gut in the t in this net okay look at that i'm getting look at this guys look at this look at the size of this crawfish that's walking towards the gut oh my god you guys look at that i'm scooping up crawfish they're coming out of nowhere here we go that's a huge one oh my god guys look at the size of that guy holy smoke oh my god i'm sorry guys look at this 
Guys, look at the size of this guy. He's holding on to the net. Look at that. Wow. I've never seen crawfish that big, guys. Look, I'm sorry about the camera. I'm moving it around. Look at the size of this guy, guys. Look at this. I've never seen crawfish that big. Look at my hand and look at the size of the crawfish. Oh my god. Look at this guy. This is a tiny one compared to that. Holy smoke, guys. Look at that. If you want to get some crawfish, you got to use some trout guts. That definitely works. All right, get back to you guys soon. Activity on this rod. You see that? The slightest of movements right there. Right there, look, look at that, look. Oh, there it is. See that? Trout are not gonna give you too much of a hint, guys. They're gonna give you, they're gonna be tugging very gently. So what you have to do, you have to keep an eye on them, okay? Now, in order to set the set the hook, tighten your drag, tighten your reel. All right, we're gonna go ahead and set the hook now. Fish on, fish on guys. <laughs> this, this should be the third trout, if it is a trout. All right, let it go in again. This is the beauty of wearing these waders. You can get right in the water guys. And you don't have to beach the fish. You don't have to land the fish on land. You can just walk right in the water. And bring these babies in. This one's a catfish. We got a catfish, guys. It's not a trout. It's a small little catfish. Look at that. That's a little bullhead catfish, guys. All right, let me get it out of the net. There's a bullhead, fat little catfish we got. Look at that. All right, we're gonna go in and release this guy. We're not keeping any catfish today. I'll be right back. Fish on, guys. <laughs> oh, look at this, guys, look at this. Woo! Fish on. I got my waders on, so I'm gonna go in and grab my net. And I'm gonna go walk inside. <laughs> I'm gonna walk right in the water, guys. Because I got my waders on. I got the fish. I got my waders on. I'm invincible. And I got myself a trout. Look at that. I got myself a beautiful trout, guys. Right on. I'm so happy. Fish on, guys. Got a big fish on.
Got a big trout on. Look at that. Oh man, this is a nice one. Like I did before. Oh wow. Oh wow, look at that guy. Like I did before, I'm gonna go ahead and grab my net and walk in there. Got it, guys. I got it. This is definitely the biggest trout of the day. Oh, wow. That's a big trout, guys. Look at this. This is definitely the biggest one of the day. The heaviest one of the day. Look at that, folks. Look at the size of that trout. Wow. That's incredible. Alright, we're going to call the day. And we'll see you at the cookout. Stay tuned. All right, guys. So we're at the cooking portion of this video. I got my pot over here that I'm going to be using to boil the crawfish. I'm going to use my Cajun seasoning. I'm going to add some additional seasoning like black pepper, some chili lime, and some tapatio into the mix. Got the crawfish right here in the strainer. I got them nicely rinsed out. Make sure there's no sand in there. Look at that, guys. Look at the little one trying to escape. There's 18 of them in here, as we counted in the video. I got my trout right there. Four nice sized trout. With an additional big, big, big one. All right, we're gonna put some sausage in there. Buddy Eric's here. Stay tuned, guys. It's a cookout. Oh, let's not forget to mention the main ingredient Angel City Brewery IPA. You gotta have them hops in there. Alright, see you in a little bit. Fill, fill about a quarter of it with water. You got your hand for a measuring tool. That's about half a cup. Use your palm as your measuring tool, tool half a cup. You want about four pinches of pepper. Just a tad bit of chili lime because there's already a bunch of them in there. A little bit of tapatio for extra spice. I'm gonna add a little bit of olive oil, garlic infused. That was a lot actually, but it's cool. Now let's go ahead and mix this up, bring this back to life. And I'm gonna wait for the water to start boiling before I put in my crawfish, guys, okay? 
because they're they're still alive and that would be the humane way to do it is to make sure they die immediately so let's let the water boil i'll be back in 10 minutes got a couple of sausages there louisiana brand hot link made in good old california guys we're gonna go ahead and slice these up there's only two of us here so we don't need that much food and we'll go ahead and toss this in after the water comes to boil we'll toss them in around the same time as the crayfish all right guys so we got the water to boil all right we're gonna go ahead and dump the crawfish in there <coughs> close the lid and we're gonna wait about 10 minutes and we'll dump the sausage in there stay tuned <coughs> all right guys let's go ahead and add the sausage in there look at that it's already going 100 percent boil let's go ahead and throw that in there it's gonna release some of that sausage oil in there sorry about that look at that folks mm, wow that looks good all right stay tuned i got the fish all scaled i got them all scaled and i'm gonna go ahead and cook them up i'll be back guys i'm so excited check this out check that out guys they're turning red everything is cooking now what i'm gonna do is I'm gonna start putting score I'm gonna start seasoning my fish so I'm gonna show you how you do that or how I do that all right here we go sorry about all the movement all right so here's how I do it guys take the fish remember this fish is already gutted and it's already scaled so what I like to do is I like to put a lot of score marks on the fish. That way, when you're seasoning the fish, the seasoning goes beyond the skin. It goes, it penetrates deep within the fish and that's what's gonna bring all the flavors out. Sharp knife, okay, sharp knife. Score every half an inch if you wanna do it this way. Every half an inch is, the way I like to do it because later on when I'm done cooking the skin will the meat will literally come off the vertebrae every half an inch at a time literally you can just pick up that piece of meat and eat it I'll show you what I mean later score down here and you can see the color of that meat come out I mean, this trout is just so gorgeous. And guys, the tail is gonna be a, a chip at the end. You can just eat it like chips, okay? So I got it scored just like that, okay? Now I'm gonna take my olive oil and I'm gonna drizzle it on top just like that okay on that side move the skin around so the olive oil seeps into the skin just like that I'm gonna get my chi chili season seasoning chili lime seasoning from Trader Joe's put a nice layer just like that okay and with your hand just massage it into the little score marks on this on the fish that's going to push the seasoning into the score marks and it's going to start releasing flavors into your fish just like that guys 
Now I like to add a little bit of spice. I'm gonna add a little bit of black pepper. I'm gonna do the same. Massage it, put it in there. No need for salt in this case because my chili lime already comes salted. Now flip it around, do the same. Okay, I'll be back. All right guys, we got the crawfish and the sausage all cooked up. We're gonna go ahead and put it in the strainer. Check that out guys. How good does that look? Alright guys, so I got everything cooked up, got the trout in here, as you can see that's the breaded one and these guys are done with the chili powder, you can see the difference in color, got the crawfish in there, let's go ahead and take it upstairs 
and mix it up with the rice and do it properly. Stay tuned. All right, I'm gonna say a quick prayer and we'll go ahead and enjoy the festivities of my cookout. All right, dear Lord, thank you for providing us this meal. Thank you for keeping us healthy every day. And thank you for providing us prosperity and the courage to continue. We love you, Lord. Sure them there. Look at that, guys. <laughs> and the crawfish, guys, with the sausage. Guys, thank you for this watching one. this. And this one. This is really good, too, yes. Check this out, guys. This is the one with chili. This is the one with the breading. Look at that. Guys, thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please go ahead and put a thumbs up. Smash that subscribe button. I got more coming. Me and my dad and my mom, we're gonna enjoy the meal. Thank you for watching. See you next time.